did not Esau come out first, red like a hairy garment? But did it not say that Jacob's hand was on his heel? It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Meaning, once Esau um, reign is over, Jacob is instituted right in. This was the ideal message within this prophecy. Meaning, a, um, during this age, it would the time would be based on rulership. So they take it as the white man is ruling now, right? So there's got to be talking about him. But the white man is not ruling all over the whole world. Only in certain, like the white man does have a lot of sanctions, but not every single place is the white man actually ruling. Okay. We can, okay. Okay. We can prove, we can prove that. All right, cool. So we can prove that not every place he may have, he may be confederate in certain portions of the world to do certain things, but not everywhere is a white man actually ruling, telling them to do X, Y, and Z. They only make it seem like it is because they're showing this part. But not every single place is a white man actually ruling, meaning like, yeah, we, 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 we go ahead. Just a quick question, not even to get too far off topic. When, when you say or think of white men, this is my question to you. Would you think of the Caucasian man or the Jewish man? Because there's a difference. Yeah, but one is more powerful than the other Other one, though. There's a there's a difference. And I would say it would be the white Jews because they're the ones with all the money. They got every world bank in the, in the world. And if you're not part of that world bank, they come to take your country. So they take the country. And the reason I ask that, see, the, the reason, oh, right. So the reason I said it is because people get them in America, you say white man, you automatically think about the Caucasian because of slavery. But when we talk about wealth and power, it's, some, it's a different race of people. And Where most, we at? And in most countries that were predominantly black, they have came and taken it over and they have put their people in place once they left. This is why the African nations are so jacked up now. They came in there and changed everything and then they left their people in charge. That's true. So most of the world, I mean as long as they got their finger on that button, they, they got the whole power around this world. That's 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 true to a certain extent. But um it's just like it's just like the Arabs. Like the Arabs are not sanctioned by a lot of these other nations when it comes to you know certain things that they do like they don't have to answer you know really to them when it comes to certain things so when we, i'm just making sure that everybody understand how they try to manipulate it to make it seem like esau is the end of the world meaning he's ruling every aspect of the earth every single thing of the earth when it comes to whatever it is like he may have his hands in certain things and you know be confederate with certain things but when we talk about rulership, we talk about how to look in kingdom in the kingdom age, and this is all it's talking about. This is like speaking of a prophecy concerning how the kingdom will be ushered in betwixt Esau or Edom and Jacob. Not about who in particular will be ruling, but just how the kingdom will be ushered in at that time. Um, just to put it out there, our understanding, and we're gonna prove it as we get into the scriptures, but our understanding is the Messiah died on a Thursday. Is the Messiah died on a Thursday? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors also to you, brethren, you el other elders scattered abroad, fellow believers. Shalom to these few sisters and shalom to the elect. So anyway, I came across this video. This video came across me one way or another. It's titled, Who are the Edomites? And this is by the group Israel Now Cincinnati. So, I mean, this was, I, I believe this is still off the stem off of the Arabs being the Edomites or something like that. I meant the Arabs being the Edomites or something like that. Um, but you had other one-westers 
Battle Axe uh, spin off of One Body and another group um, because they was comparing David, saying David was red like Esau, which we did videos on that. When you look up even Ruddy, even out of transla translations, it tells you something different. Or you can put a picture of a, ru a Ruddy heifer or whatever on the screen. So they try to fuse that. But that's not what I'm getting into. The point I want to get into is this doctrine when he said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It don't have nothing to do with the um, Idumians or the people we say that is. Right? So he snuck sneakily, he snuck in there the Arabs. Right? This man don't have his whole hand on all the world. Well, this is the one time really only, right, that the whole world is conquered. Because even back during the time of the Roman Empire, you still had the Western countries, you know, America, South America. You know, you had countries that wasn't conquered. But now, the whole earth is conquered. So process of elimination, let's say... Okay, the white man don't own every single nation. Let's say that. But he owns the majority. That's still linked to the whole earth because he rules common man, right? Because even when the, you could say even when the Romans ruled, they had a form of ruling the earth. But they didn't rule the whole earth, right? Now, this is the time that if there's anybody that's going to rule the whole earth is this man. And then he has missiles to destroy countries. He has nuclear warfare. Now you tell me, somebody coming to your house with a gun and you got a knife, who the hell you think going to win? If uh, multiple men came in your house with a gun, and they said, this is my house. What are you going to do? And that's how Edom was blessed with the sword, man. Right? Ultimately, he got those uh, missiles. So anyway, I want to go into OPEC. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Which means the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Right? Dealing with the oil. Okay, so either way, this man got his hand in everything, right? The IMF, the International Monetary Fund, they loaned the IMF countries and OPEC members, right? They own them. Let's go to Job 924 in the blue letter. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not. Uh, where and who is he? We can go to Maccabees 348. I'll also probably go to Maccabees, the first chapter, right? You also know through the time of the Renaissance when he came into power and recovered the images. This man has created havoc, horrendous atrocities on the earth. And these people, right? A sad excuse for being Israelites said, nope, not them, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, anyway, the wicked, earth is given a hand of the wicked, 875.63. says 875.63, a wicked criminal, guilty one, guilty of a crime, red-handed, crimson. Wicked, hostile, wicked, guilty of sin against God or and man. Right? There's so many scriptures that come to mind. Uh, maybe I'll get one. Um, let's see if we can find one here. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So this guy saying wicked could be this person, that person. We know that. But we know in this text, the earth. Who or what, what people on the earth 
predominantly controlling the whole earth, and I would say controlling the whole, whole earth. In fact, if you go into, I mean, you can look this stuff up. It's all over YouTube. It's all over the Internet. Um, the military bases, it says U.S. troops currently operate in Iraq and Syria. In fact, in fact, the um, the weapons, uh, what was going on, the, the chemical assault, I believe, that went on in Syria, the chemical plant, or they had that some years back, talking about the weapons of mass destruction and the chemical warfare, the chemical plant. Well, guess who that was owned by? It wasn't Syria. It wasn't Syrian. Yep, you guessed it. We all knew who that was owned by. Okay? So it's not hard to peep out. Anyway, so America has embassies all over the globe, hundreds of embassies. I thought it was only, a, you know, quite a few, but it's hundreds. And um, we'll show you here that the International Monetary Fund, let me see if I can find more information on this International Monetary Fund, who loans the OPEC and controls them. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries is an intergovernmental organization of 13 countries founded in 1960, Baghdad by the first five members. It has since uh, 1965 been headquarters of Vienna, Australia, and various other countries. And we all know what happened to Gaddafi. Or if it's not Gaddafi, it was the other one who backed out of the money, wanted to back out of the dollar. Um, I forgot who it was. Might have been Gaddafi, but he backed out of the dollar. And uh, you see what happened to him. Might have been Saddam Hussein or something like that. Hussein Insane. Anyway, here's the head of the International Monetary Christ, Kristalina Georgievia, Gorgivia, whatever her name is, currently serves as managing director of the International Monetary Fund, a position she selected. She was selected for in 2019 and has served since October 2019. Before joining the IMF, she was CEO of the World Bank from January 2017 to 2019. During which time she was served as an interim president, the World Bank Group of three months. So we always, not a lot I can say in this video why they set this person up. We can understand why and how it goes. But this is just proven the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, they all owned by a particular group of people. And everybody has trade import export funding through this bank right even russia has decided to try to back get back in by their own bank you know so the lord is causing a separation but guess what they're still the adumians as well so after all this that's been done let's go back a little history let's go to maccabees one um 16. Uh, now, when the kingdom was established before Antiochus, he thought to reign over Egypt that he might have dominion of two realms, right? Wherefore, he entered into Egypt a great multitude and with chariots and elephants and horsemen and a great navy, right? And made war against Ptolemy, the king of Egypt. But, but Ptolemy was afraid of him and fled and many were wounded to death and what they're not telling you in the history you had Cleopatra which Cleopatra tried to link up with a lot of the Romans and they f and found out I just read a little history on it and they found out that this Cleopatra was uh, set up to lead Egypt but anyway thus they got the strong cities in the land of Egypt and took spoils thereof. And after that Antiochus had smitten Egypt. 
right? So you had one a do mean against another. He returned again in the 140 and the third year and went up against Israel. So obviously when he conquered Egypt, he came back with more, right? That's what happens. You get more power, more men. He went up against Israel and Jerusalem with a great multitude and entered proudly into the sanctuary and took away the golden altar and the candlestick of lights of light and all the vessels thereof. So when you go back to Hebrews 12, you know, which I believe I read 12 and 16 for one morsel of meat, uh, um, lest there be any fornicator or profane person to Esau, for one morsel of meat he sold his birthright, for ye know that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So this is what you see here. This is still a Jacob and Esau thing, and it will be until our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, sends his son, Yahweh Shah, to return to do some cleanup work, right? And it says, and the table of shoe bread and pouring vessels, um, it talks about all the ornaments and everything. He took also the silver and gold and precious vessels. He took hidden treasures. I mean, this man wrecked havoc on the earth. Okay. Therefore, there was a great mourning in Israel in every place they were. Right. The land also was moved into the habits there, inhabitants thereof, and all the house of Jacob was covered with confusion. Right. Um, and spake. It says, uh, and after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector, the tribute of the cities of Judah, right, who came unto Jerusalem with great multitude and spake peaceably words unto them, but all was deceit. This is the same. What you see is history repeating itself. For when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. Right. This is why they got the voting going on, just like Rome, to tell you everything is going to be all right. Things are going to get better. Uh, stand in line and punch your ticket. We're, we're trying to make things great again, making America great again. That didn't even last with, with Trump. Right. You can read the whole thing. Um, this whole Maccabees. And it just shows how our people were spoiled. Right. For it was placed to lie in wait against the sanctuary, evil adversary to Israel. So what this is what you're seeing, right? Um, even when you come up, you fast forward and you go into us being brought here on them ships, man. It's the one thing that everybody says, well, wait a minute. God loves all. It's not everybody. Right? This is just something bad that happened in history doesn't mean that you people but something this serious and judging from the history you see in the Mac in the Maccabees and even in our history you could clearly see when the Lord was wroth with Israel judgment came down on Israel this is how you know we're the only people that judgment came down on that damn hard right Judgment came down hard on us, man. These, these, this man was a madman, and this man still is a madman. And you can't get away from that. It's just what it is. So anyway, I don't have much else to say to that. I think the intro, they said what they said. They was completely wrong on everything they said. And this also proves how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah can make the, the, the holy that's why it's called the holy scriptures it's separate but the most high can make you see things the way you want to see them and he's managed to throw so many stumbling blocks to certain people not to us that they'll believe a thousand lies and it could be seen that way and then you go into the interpretations in different books and then you'll get all confused and messed up you know and that's what happened with these guys they are completely bugged out. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.